liked that for a long, long time, left to my own devices. Hi. Well, good evening. Welcome to our Friday, Friday, our Wednesday edition of A Psalm and a Song. Apparently, I'm not quite sure what day it is. But you know it's Wednesday. I know it's Wednesday. And that means this is a psalm and a song. Woo! So I hope you are good this week. We are entering springtime. Today is a reminder that April showers bring May flowers. So I hope that your spring is beginning good. We are beginning to make plans for Palm Sunday and for Easter and Holy Week and all of that stuff, which means spring is very much upon us. So I hope that your spring is good. Our psalm tonight is Psalm 130. And this is, as usual, is from the message translation. Help, God, I've hit rock bottom. Master, hear my cry for help. Listen hard, open your ears, listen to my cries for mercy. If you, God, kept records on wrongdoings, who would stand to chance? As it turns out, forgiveness is your habit, and that's why you're worshipped. I pray to God my life a prayer and wait for what he'll say and do. My life's on the line before God, my Lord, waiting and watching till morning, waiting and watching till morning. O oh, Israel, wait and watch for God. With God's arrival comes love. With God's arrival comes generous redemption. No doubt about it, he'll redeem Israel, buy back Israel from captivity to sin. Friends, may God add understanding to our reading and our hearing on this day. What did you hear in there? What did you hear? I heard a prayer. I heard a prayer for mercy. I heard a prayer for presence. I heard a prayer for God. I love that line that repeats, waiting and watching till morning. Waiting and watching till morning. Have you ever done that? Have you ever stayed up all night, whether on purpose or accidentally, or suffered from insomnia? and found yourself no longer in bed, but maybe sitting out on the living room couch with just one light on, the rest of the house dark, waiting and watching until morning. And I don't know how your nights have turned out. Sometimes it's been okay in the morning and sometimes the news has not been good. The longer we live, the more of those nights that we wait and watch till morning. This is, a repair, this is a prayer that reminds us of God's presence, especially in those dark hours. Reminds us of God's forgiving nature, especially when those dark hours are of our own making, right? When we have done something or have left something undone, and then we are awake late into the night, filled with remorse or regret or worry, anxiety. I hope you hear these psalms as prayers, as prayers for forgiveness, but as prayers as part of a conversation reminding the writer and the reader who God is. Because I think we all need that reminder Maybe on a daily basis even. I think we all need that reminder that God forgives. That is God's habit. And it's not particularly my habit, but it's a habit to be longed for. It's a habit to be worked towards. So I hope your Wednesday is good. I bring you a song I don't think you've heard before. I have a dear friend in this world. Her name is Brenda Schmidt. And Brenda is a retired nurse, and she's a talented caregiver. But what she's also awfully good at is writing songs. You don't find that too often in this world, at least people that will share them. 
who say, you know, I've written a song about this or I've written a song about that. And Brenda has. And so she would share those songs with me every once in a while. And this is one of them, and it's one of my favorites. Of the ones that she shared with me, it's one of my favorites. So I hope that you'll like it too. I find it a bit of an earworm, and there's nothing better on a Wednesday night than having that stick with you for the rest of the week. It's called Hush Be Still. all the better listening to the raindrops fall. Peace, y'all.